In this video, we'll see how to make chili cauliflower, a restaurant style crispy honey chili cauliflower. Let's get started. For this recipe, we need approximately 250 gram cauliflower and you need to cut medium sized florets. So do not make very small florets. So these are ready. Next step is to boil these for 1 minute. So bring some water to a boil and drop in the cauliflower florets. And boil for a minute and immediately drain and run some cold water to prevent excess cooking or extra cooking after that. Okay, let's move to the next step. For the batter in a bowl, take half cup maida, half cup cornstarch, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder or you can add more or less as per your taste, 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste, some salt. Now gradually add water and make a thick paste. So I wouldn't call it a very thick paste but please make slightly thick paste otherwise your paste would not coat the cauliflower piece as well. Before dropping the cauliflower in, I'm going to heat some oil. So I'm using Bisano Extra Light Olive Oil, which is a healthier choice for cooking. Now drop in the cauliflower florets and you need to use your fingers to mix everything really well. Make sure each piece is coated really well with the batter. Keeping the flame high, you need to drop in the cauliflower florets. Now I'm going to double fry these. That is, I'm going to flash fry on high flame for 2 to 3 minutes or till these florets develop slightly golden color but not very dark. If you want, you can single fry till these become crispy but double frying would ensure that the crispiness remains longer and is more. If you have some event or party, you can single fry these and keep aside and later you can double fry and then toss in the sauce. So here they are after single frying, slightly firm but not very crispy because I did not fry these till these became crispy. Now for double frying the oil should be really hot, again you need to keep the flame really high. Drop in the cauliflower florets and this time you need to fry these till these become crispy. Frying these at lower temperature would make your cauliflower really oily and they wouldn't be much crispy. So here these are after double frying and these are nice and crunchy so I'm pressing this cauliflower between my fingers and I'm not able to break it. It's very nice and crispy. For the sauce, heat some oil and drop in chopped garlic, grated ginger or you can add chopped ginger. Saute between low to medium flame for 5 to 10 seconds or till the raw smell is gone. Then add one medium sized sliced onion, saute till it becomes slightly pink, don't need to overdo it. Then add one medium sized capsicum, you can dice or you can just slice. And here I've added one green chilli, so my green chilli turned red, that's okay, you can use your regular green chilli. 2 tablespoons shezwan chutney, now add one tablespoon soy sauce, give it a good stir keeping the flame high. Keep a watch. Now add 2 teaspoon plus 4 teaspoon cornstarch plus water slurry. It's okay if the water is slightly more or less. Bring this mixture to a boil and then switch off the flame because we don't want to cook the honey. Now I'm adding the sano honey, 2 teaspoon of the sano honey. I like using the sano honey because it's really nice, natural and pure. Add some salt only if required. You can taste your sauce and if required you can add some salt. Drop in some chopped spring onion. If you have it, you can add, otherwise you can skip. Now drop in the cauliflower. Though I have placed my wok on the gas stove, but the flame is switched off. Quickly mix and then add some sesame seeds, that is dill. And serve it right away. Garnish with some more sesame seeds. I hope you like this recipe. Give this recipe a try and enjoy!